sometimes found that beetroot juice would stop my period so it would be over by a certain date then I could meet a particular guy. Four hours later I'm still talking to the lady who interrupted and the other party guests have left. And after all that I'm dizzy with exhaustion I'm told I don't care enough and I just think I have the answers. She was unmasked with tonsillitis and I was grateful that her germs had touched me. Negging, I feel a religious finger pointing at me. Constant distractions, I guess you can fall in love with more than one person on the internet. Be distracted by other interesting, exciting characters. And it's difficult to settle with one person with all this constantly going on. Before you know it, your feelings are all over the place. Plus other people might decide to intervene if they feel too much interest is developing and disrupt your conversations. It's surprising how much this can alter the course of history. The sexual side may be less intense than in real life. It might be more intense if absence makes the heart grow fonder. In real life I don't usually talk about my deepest, darkest self. And yeah, actually that has happened to me in real life as well. In fact, I'm not even sure I have the confidence to claim that someone is my boyfriend. I mean, there's bound to be competition. Green camp or earth camp. Yes, I suppose it's also a warning, although when you're letting your hair down, you don't always heed warnings, isn't it? War, peace, hippie, bead, stereotype, conflict management or tree hugging, the walk of shame, gormless and naive. I'm gullible too, it's kind of on vogue these days. I jumped without a parachute, these lawless laws of this cold war, tunnel, wormhole, burrow, obstacle. I suffered life-changing injuries during a protest.